Good evening, Holy Trinity. Will here, joined by Tomina, and we're getting ready to pray together. We're so glad you joined us tonight. If you have a prayer book, uh, we'll begin on page 117. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Will you join me in hymn 26, O Gracious Light? Jesus Christ, in you the Father's glory shone. Immortal, holy, blessed is he, and blessed are you, his holy Son. Now sunset comes, but light shines forth, the lamps are lit to pierce the night. Praise Father, Son, and Spirit God, who dwells in the eternal light. Worthy are you of endless praise, O Son of God, life-giving Lord, wherefore you are through all the highest heaven adored. Our psalm for tonight is Psalm 128, found on page 783. And we'll go on to Psalm 129 and 30 as well. Happy are they all who fear the Lord and who follow in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of your labor. Happiness and prosperity shall be yours. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house, your children like olive shoots round about your table. The man who fears the Lord shall thus indeed be blessed. The Lord bless you from Zion and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. May peace be upon Israel. Psalm 129 on page 784. Greatly have they oppressed me since my youth. Let Israel now say, Greatly have they oppressed me since my youth, but they have not prevailed against me. The plowmen plowed upon my back and made their furrows long. The Lord, the righteous one, has cut the cords of the wicked. Let them be put to shame and thrown back, all those who are enemies of Zion. Let them be like grass upon the housetops, which withers before it can be plucked which does not fill the hand of the reaper, nor the bosom of him who binds the sheaves, so that those who go by say not so much as, The Lord prosper you. We wish you well in the name of the Lord. Psalm 130 Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him. In his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchmen for the morning more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption, 
and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson tonight is from Matthew, chapter 9, verses 9 through 17. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. Then the the disciples of John came to him, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them, can they? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloth, for the patch pulls away from the cloak, and a worse tear is made. Neither is new wine put into old wineskins, Otherwise, the skins burst, and the wine is spoiled, and the skins are destroyed. But the new wine is put into fresh wine skins, and so both are preserved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love that reading, even though I tripped up on it. Let's sing together the song of Mary. If you have a uh, a hymnal handy, it's on page S242. This is a different psalm tone from uh, last week. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers and to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. On 
page 96, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love that in companionship with one another your abounding grace may increase among us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's sing hymn 691, My Faith Looks Up to Thee. Thank you. 
Now we'll have a moment just to offer up our own prayers and intercessions, however you feel moved to pray tonight. Invite you to look at the day that has passed. Think about the places where you saw God today, the places where you want to see God. And let us pray that we get just one more chance to wake up tomorrow and to serve God in new and better ways. I invite your prayers. Loving God, we pray that you hear all of these prayers and that you are present in the lives of all those who need you tonight. For all these prayers and those that go unspoken, we pray together, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The General Thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, it's a privilege to pray with you all as always. Thank you for praying. Keep your prayers up. We need them right now. And we'll see you next time. Y'all be blessed. Bye-bye.